back. We are. It's still Wednesday. All right. Next beer up in the hall is a, a local one. It is a it's the Queen's Wit Wit beer by Southern Tier. Southern Tier is technically not local because yeah, but it is a New York brewed early. at four four zero zero one Yancey in right. Charlotte. So it is brewed here in Charlotte. Yes, they have a satellite brewery here, yes. and this is the Queen City, so that's cute. Makes sense. I like the can art. Looks like a playing card. Yeah. Hmm. It's a Belgian style wit beer. It's a slice of refreshment. Brewed in collaboration with Southern Tier Brewing. It's a 4.5%. It's got 10 IBUs. And there's a little spiel about the collab. Drink local, North Carolina. Yada, 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 yada. Uh, brewed by Artisan Brewing Ventures, Charlotte, LLC. Boom. This deliciously refreshing beer is a bright and clever take on the classic Belgian style with flavor notes of citrus and very subtle spice. Play your cards right and sip this one easy on a sunny orange sky day. I like to play your cards right. That's fun. <laughs> the collab says, born at our collaborative brewery at the center of Carolina's flourishing beer scene, we combine our enthusiasm for big flavor with vibrant re refreshment, southern expression, and local ingredients. Join us for this one-of-a-kind experience only found at 4001 Yancey in Charlotte, North Carolina. So it is definitely local. And there is three breweries at 4001 Yancey. It is Southern Tier. And what are the other two? The ones that make Golden Monkey. Oh, yeah. I do. We've had their beer. Yeah. Shit. Mmm. Whatever. Victory? Yep. Victory Brewing. And then there's, there's one, one other more. one. I don't know what the one other one is, but there's three breweries. Their it's huge. And their food is excellent. Yeah. That Golden Monkey Banana Pudding I had right after I had Rory was top notch. I'm excited to see if that ridiculous tall can of beer you have in there is going to fit in this big ass cup. It's Ooh. skinny. You it's skinny. Should we get the boot out? Maybe. We have a ridiculously tall can of beer in there. We have also oh. the giant black boot that we bought at a beer festival place for adults. All right. I like how it's got that hazy. Look at that. You can't really pick Ooh, it up on camera, but amazing. man, it looks good. Wit. Yes, it's the wit. All right, give it a whirl. It's wit-tastic. I smell the citrus right on the nose. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That is nice. They say the citrus and the spice, there is something very interesting, almost floral in there. That's very nice. Yeah. It's very light, too. Right? I do want that on an orange sky day. That's what they tell in the can. I don't, I don't know, know what, what the, the fuck, fuck that, that is, means, but yeah. But... Mm -hmm. Hey, awesome. It's mildly sweet. It is citrusy. The citrus There's that something is else more in of there. an orange flavor than it is yeah. lemon or lime or anything else. Almost like a vanilla citrus, like a creamsicle kind of, yeah, like a light creamsicle. That is really nice. I'm a fan. Well, you're going to drink that pickle beer. I'm going to drink the shit out of the pickle beer, but right. that's a close That thing. is excellent. I will definitely get this one again. I've seen it on shelves for months now. I think it's one of their core beers because yeah. it's been out forever. It's excellent. So if you're in the Charlotte area and you want to go it. up to 4001 Yancey, give it a shot. All right. It's the the Queen's Wit. Wee. Wit beer. Wit. Very cool. We call right. it a wit. Okay. All right. I'm going to go drink some beers and eat some apple fritters. Mm. That would go great with your pickle beer. I'm sure it will. Nice to meet you.